Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today I've got an awesome piece of software that's going to convert any parameter library for you across different lenses, different wattages, and between Lightburn and EasyCAD 2. So, uh, if you're interested in software that does those things, stick around. It's made by a member of our own community. It's really cool and really easy to use. I'm going to show you guys exactly where to get it and how to use it, so don't go anywhere because we're getting started right now. If you guys are excited to convert parameters automatically instead of doing it by hand, I think you know what to do. So just a quick disclaimer, guys. This software was made by a member of the LMA community, uh, a supporter of the channel. He's been a member for a long time. He's a really great guy. He's done an amazing thing by putting so much time into this software for us. He's created this software for free for us to use. He doesn't charge for it in any way whatsoever. But I just want to throw this out there as kind of a general disclaimer. You are downloading an executable file from a stranger off the internet. Okay, that comes with risks. So I have to say that you are using this software at your own risk and you're responsible for whatever happens. That said, I am perfectly comfortable using this software on my machine, and I think you guys will be okay using it too. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Anyway, I'm not concerned, guys. I don't think that people should be concerned about this. It's just something I feel like needs to be said. So here we are on the GitHub page, guys. If you need a link to this, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description. And uh, if we just check out the description real quick, we've got the readme file, uh, converts parameter settings and libraries for different laser engraver wattages and lens sizes, supports EasyCAD 2 and Lightburn parameter library file types. Um, I'm talking to him about adding support for EasyCAD 3, uh, so hopefully we'll see that soon, but right now it's EasyCAD 2 and Lightburn. Uh, and let's take a look at how this works. So in order to get this off of the GitHub, uh, we're gonna come up to code up here and we're just gonna click that and we're gonna click download zip. And that's gonna go ahead and save wherever your downloads save to. So we can click here and click show in folder. And that's gonna open the folder up for us. Uh, it's zipped, it's a zip folder, so we'll have to extract it. So right click, extract all. Uh, if you're on Windows 10, it may look like this instead. Extract all right here. We'll go ahead and click that and we can just hit extract and that's going to open up this new folder for us. So we'll go ahead and open that and we have a getting started guide, a laser params converter, uh, a license file, a readme file, and a setup file. So uh, we're going to go through a couple of these really quick just to show you what's included in the download. So if we open the readme real quick in notepad, uh, we can see this is just the description from the GitHub page. So if you read this already, then um, there's nothing new in here. Uh, there is also a quick kind of startup guide. It's a PDF uh, and we can open that and take a look at that real quick. So um, this basically just has all of the instructions that we're gonna cover in this video. So if you miss something, you can refer to this document uh, in order to figure out any steps that you might have missed. He does a great job kind of breaking it down uh, and tells you even how to organize your Lightburn library when you convert in from EasyCAD. There's a bunch of great info in here. So check out the, uh, the guide if you have any questions. Also, he was kind enough to shout out uh, the Laser Everything Parameter Library and the Laser Master Academy. He, again, is a member of the LMA. So, um, you know, if you want to start with a great library, you can go check that out over at masters.lasereverything.net. But um, here's that converter right there, guys. And uh, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed so we can see how it works. So back here in the download folder, we do have the setup.exe. So we'll go ahead and run that. Um, as mentioned in the documentation, he is giving the software away for free, so he didn't pay for the certificate uh, in order to skip this screen, essentially. So, um, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk. Uh, we covered this in the beginning of the video. Um, you can click more info and then run anyway, and that will go ahead and run the installer. Um, so we do require the .NET desktop runtime, uh, so we don't have that yet, so we can go ahead and click install. If you already have this installed, this message won't pop up, but we're going to need that, so we'll go ahead 
and allow that to download and install the .NET runtime for us real quick. Once that's done, it's going to ask us where we'd like to install the program, uh, and if we want to install it for all users on the computer or just me, uh, just me is fine. And we'll hit next, uh, and then it says it's ready to install the laser params converter. So we'll hit next here, and we're going to get a little pop-up that's just asking us to confirm, and we'll hit OK. And it installs in like two seconds, guys, before I could even finish my sentence. It's done. Um, we can hit close, and we're installed. So here it is right down here, uh, laser params converter. And if we double-click it, it's going to go ahead and open up for us. So the UI is super simple, guys. This is really easy to use. Under format, we're just going to select the format of the file we're going to import to the software. So we can choose either EasyCAD 2 or Lightburn. Uh, we'll start with EasyCAD 2. Uh, and then we can choose a laser type. Note the CO2 here uh, stands for CO2 gantry. So this is for gantry style CO2 lasers. This is not CO2 Galvo. Uh, that has not been added yet. This is for CO2 gantry lasers. So converting for uh, you know one CO2 wattage to another CO2 wattage. Um, the fiber one is for fiber lasers. So we don't have CO2 Galvo or UV yet. Uh, those are coming, but this is CO2 gantry. Um, for now, we'll select fiber, and we're gonna select our max power here. Uh, max power is at 100. You can run fiber lasers at 100% power without the same risk of damaging them. It's common that you're not supposed to run CO2 lasers uh, at 100% power. Um, that's not so much a thing with fiber. So with fiber, we can set our max power to 100. That way, if it's converting and it needs to use 100% power, it will convert that and, and that'll be the case. So we are importing an EasyCAD 2 file for a fiber laser and the maximum power that it's gonna use when it's converting, if we have to convert up in power, is 100. So the next thing we need to do is import an actual library file. I've made a copy of an EasyCAD folder down here on the desktop, so we're going to navigate to that one by clicking these three dots here, and uh, here it is, desktop, EasyCAD fiber, param. Uh, so note here, this is for my 110 lens, okay, we need to know that. Uh, here's the file we need, markparam.lib, and if we click that, we can click open, and that's going to load up all the settings in this library. Uh, these are just a few of the settings that we have on the Laser Master Academy website. That you get for supporting the channel if you'd like the full list uh, we've got tons and tons of settings for fiber lasers um, you can head over to the lma it's masters.lasereverything.net and support the channel uh, we've got a great library over there but here's what we need to do okay so here's our input we have a couple things we need to set we need to set the lens. Um, so for the Laser Master Academy website, it's built for a 110 lens, and then we have to set the wattage. And this library was built for a 30 watt laser. Um, then we need to tell it what we want it to convert to. So let's say I just got a brand new 200 millimeter lens, okay? Um, and it's the same 30 watt laser. Uh, all we have to do is click one and we can convert just one at a time and here you can see it's showing us for a 200 millimeter lens at 30 watts we'd need to use 100 percent power and a speed of around 550. Uh, this actually won't assign it to a library over here so you're not bringing these over one by one if you hit convert it just reconverts over and over but yeah so this is just a handy kind of mini tool for just converting one-offs if you just need to convert something really quick uh, to get an idea but we want to convert our entire library so that's going to be over here. Uh, we have our output so again this will be the lens we're going to and the wattage we're going to and if we hit convert all it's going to go ahead and convert all of these settings for us right over here into this column uh, and that's it I mean it's it's done uh, which is very very easy lastly we just want to choose how we're going to save it uh, so we can hit save parameter files down here and it's going to ask us if we want to save this as a Lightburn library file or if we want to save this as an EasyCAD 2 file. Um, since we are just saying that we've gotten a, another lens for our 30 watt fiber, we'll go ahead and save this as an EasyCAD 2 file. And we can hit save, so let's just call this mark param. Let's just give it another name so we don't mix these up. So we'll call this 200 just so that we know. Uh, that this is the one that's been converted for our 200 millimeter lens and we'll hit save and it's going to say saved and that's it uh, we're good to go we saved that in the folder where we're expecting to find it so here it is up here uh, of course easycad won't know to read this because it doesn't know how to read mark param 200.lib it's looking very specifically for mark param.lib so we would have to make another copy of our easycad folder and then move this one in and rename it to mark param.lib but we have it there, so that's great. 
um, what if we want to convert for uh, lens and wattage? Uh, it's the same exact thing. So we'll go ahead and type 50 watts in here and we'll just hit convert all again and boom, we've got a new converted setup for a 50 watt laser. Works the same for 60 or even 80 or 100. We can hit convert all and it's going to continue to convert those for us. Note that it only changes the speed if it has to in order to make the setting work. Uh, usually this will happen when you're going from a larger wattage laser to a lower one. So if we have 30 watts over here and we're using a 20 watt laser when we convert, uh, let's keep the lens the same. Uh, and we hit convert all, you'll see some of these speeds start to drop over here. And that's because you can't raise the power anymore. So the speed has to slow down to compensate. Uh, they'll still work, but they might need a little more fine tuning. Uh, same thing if you're keeping the same wattage, but you're going to a really big lens. So if we're going to say like a 300 millimeter lens and we convert, you'll see these speeds all, almost all of them are gonna require 100% power and the speeds are gonna be really low. And that's just because the dot size is so much bigger on a 300 millimeter lens. So you really need to get more power uh, and slow that beam down in order to get similar marks. But it does work. Um, it just might take a little more fiddling if you start to get into this territory over here. Finally, I just want to talk for a minute about converting for Lightburn uh, because Lightburn handles libraries a little bit differently than EasyCAD. In EasyCAD, you just get a straight list like this. It's the setting name, the power, and the speed. Uh, and that's basically it. But if you've ever used Lightburn, you know that it actually has like folders and a different hierarchy-based system on how parameters are organized. So I just want to show you what that looks like. So for this example, we're going to say 110 lens, 30 watt laser, and we're just converting from EasyCAD to Lightburn. Okay, so we'll hit convert all. We'll let those update. You'll see the settings are exactly the same. But this time when we hit save parameter file, we're going to change this to a light burn file and we'll go ahead and just save this right on the desktop so we've got our markparam.clb that's a light burn cut library file and we'll go ahead and save and it says parameter file saved and we'll hit ok and now we need to open up light burn because i want to show you how this looks so here we are on light burn uh, it's set up for my 30 watt jptlp this is the mactron unit right here if we come to library, I've got my whole LMA parameter library in here, uh, but we're going to load this new test one. So if I go load, uh, and then we can come up to the desktop, and here's our markparam.clb. Remember, that's the Lightburn cut library. We'll go ahead and select it and hit open, and it loads up uh, initially, um, but there are some things missing. EasyCAD doesn't use titles and descriptions, so you get the setting name, but these things aren't filled out. Uh, and if we have two settings that are both for, I don't know, let's say steel, right? So we have steel general and we have steel white finish. So if we wanted to combine these so that they're both under steel, um, what we would do is select the actual setting. Uh, that's the one that's labeled description. And we're gonna hit edit description. And if we come in here, we can see title and description. So uh, let's cut general out of here because that's kind of the sub label. So we'll just leave it F steel. Title will say general. And the description, we can even say general or steel general, okay? And we're gonna hit okay here. And we're gonna do the same thing to the steel white finish. Uh, so we'll come into edit description. We're gonna just change this to steel white. It's important that those match perfectly or they're not gonna show up together. Title, we can say white finish, and then description, steel, white, finish. And if we hit OK, now they're both going to come up underneath steel. So now we can drop steel down, general, and white finish, and we have steel general and steel white finish. So uh, that's how you combine two settings uh, of a similar material, just so that you can organize your light burn library a little bit better. And of course, even if you don't have multiple settings, like say for the brass, you can still come in here and we can edit the description and we can say brass uh, general and we can make the description brass general. That way if we add a brass setting down the road, uh, we can still use the material name F brass uh, and we're going to be able to have those under the same material uh, with their own individual settings. So um, that's kind of how I like to fix things and, and reorganize it 
once it's been brought in from EasyCAD. There's no workaround, because again, EasyCAD is a very, like, just straight up linear list, uh, whereas Lightburn uses this hierarchy system. So you'll have to clean up your library a little bit, but cleaning up the descriptions is gonna take a lot less time than trying to convert all of these parameters with the Excel spreadsheet and copying them in by hand. So uh, you win some, you lose some, right? But uh, that's about it, guys. That's pretty much it for the laser parameters converter. Uh, this is the 1.0.3 beta. Again, the link to the GitHub page for this in the description of the video so you guys can come up and grab this download. I'm sure it's going to be updated over time. I have a lot to talk about with the developer about fine tuning the formulas uh, that he's using to convert these because it's based off the Excel spreadsheet and I think we can get it better. So uh, keep an eye out for this uh, to be updated. If it does get updated, we'll certainly cover it here on the channel so you'll hear about it. Special shout out to David Christian uh, from the Laser Master Academy for putting this together for us. It's so, so much appreciated and it's I know it's just gonna save you guys a ton of time and effort. So I am really excited to be able to share this with you guys today. And uh, let me know in the comments if it's working for you and if you're getting some use out of it. Okay guys, and I think that's everything you need to know to get started with this software. Again, really thank you so much to the developer for putting this together for us to use for free. Uh, it's very simple, but very powerful. And it should save you guys a ton of time, like I said. So if you got value out of this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a video. If you love the channel and it's the best thing that ever happened to you, don't forget to sign up for the Laser Master Academy. That's how you get our full library of fiber laser parameter settings, and you'll be able to use that with the converter. It's been tested and it works great. So go check that out because our supporters over at the LMA are the only reason we get to continue to make this content for you guys, and their support means everything. So if you want to join them, again, go check it out over at masters.lasereverything.net. And I think that's all I've got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.